There we go. Hi, it's Bren, and we are doing another episode of Things by Bren, but today is different. We have a panel that is going to rock your world because it's going to be a little sneak peek about what's happening at this convention, virtual November 5th through 7th on every tales platform. And then we're doing it again in person in February. And some of these folks are going to be there as well. So let me just jump right in here and introduce everybody. We have Corey Fox. He's on our panel. We have Simone Rowe. She's going to be teaching a class. We have Maude Miller with Every Tale, and she is going to be behind the scenes doing all the work so you guys get to see what we have in store for you. Then we have Kim Case. She's one of our speakers. She's in person and she's the virtual speaker. She's got a phenomenal story. And then we have Jessica, who is a panelist as well. So we're going to ask them some questions, let you see a little bit about what's going to happen, and then head on over there and get your ticket. Register for Friday night. It's free. No obligation for a credit card, or we're not going to ask you for money. But then if you like what you see, you can jump on on Saturday and pay your $59 and watch the rest of the weekend. These guys really have what it takes. They've been through challenges. They have overcome. So I'm going to start with Corey. Corey, I want you to tell the guys out there that are watching our audience what it is that has been your biggest challenge. You're muted. Unmute your microphone. Sorry, right, sorry, y'all. You guys, um, my biggest challenge was um, overcoming my challenges of my drug addiction and uh, growing up without a dad. That that was one of my biggest challenges in my life that I had, and uh, I had to face it. And I had to really realize that, hey, look, you know, either you're gonna be this way, or you're gonna stand up and be a father to your kids, and you're gonna do what your dad uh, didn't or wasn't able to do for you and you wanted to be a better father. So I had to overcome that, and it, and it was hard. I mean, it was real hard because uh, just trying to hide it, and when you're trying to hide an addiction, and you ever heard of the saying that secrets keep you sick or secrets make you sick? And that's what it was doing. It was making me even sicker and sicker because I was trying to hide it. So that was one of the challenges that I really had to overcome, and I did it for like 15 years. And trying to come back from 15 years of doing drugs and, and, and then trying to come back into society and being a different person, that was hard, you know, because it became a habit and it became a part of me. Because if you do something for so long uh, and, and it becomes a part of you, and then when you're trying to change your life and trying to break that habit, then, you know, it's hard because there's obstacles in the way and, and, and there's cravings and there's, there, there, there's anger and there's, there's a lot of resentment and there's a lot of things that you start downing in, in, in yourself. So uh, that, that was a great challenge of my life is to overcome drugs and to start being a father, a better father to my kids. Oh, yes, definitely. Then we're going to go on to Jessica because she's driving and then Kim because she's driving so they can drop off if they need to. Jessica, what is one of the biggest challenges that you have overcome in your life? Well, I am um, so glad to thank you again, Brenda. Um, but one of my biggest challenges, I would say, would be mindset um, and really just getting down to what my purpose is, my passion is, so that I can help others the best that I can and be really a servant, right? At the end of the day, um, I think I, I at, at times I've tried to strive and to do things on my own. Um, I was not listening to God or higher powers and was really just trying to do things on my own. So I become exhausted when I do that. I um, just feel like there's a lot of doors closing, right? Like, so just those things that just sometimes happen when you don't really get quiet and listen to what you're supposed to be doing and really what it is, is your purpose on this earth. So I would say that's one of my biggest challenges. Cause I, I, um, was not really in tune with any of that, um, you know, probably 10 years ago. So I think we all have that challenge. Absolutely. Looks like Kim has dropped off. She's driving. So I don't know if her signal's any good. When she comes back on, we'll, we'll let her come in. Maud, tell us what it is that every tale does and how hard they are working behind the scenes so that our viewers can see this phenomenal event that wants to help them. 
Well, Every Tale is a virtual events platform. Uh, we put together anything from small events to large events. This one's going to be actually pretty big. It's actually going to be our first big one in the U.S. Um, it's an, actually an international company. So they, they have done events all over the world, um, anywhere from uh, Germany and Russia to India to now the U.S. So we've done a lot of huge, huge events in big places that now we're trying to come to the U.S. and make a difference. Um, everybody behind the scenes is working with marketing communications my job is to make everybody who's planning on speaking look good so i don't know looking forward to being behind the scenes and actually being able to watch everybody tell their stories and explain why they are why they are who they are now absolutely and she's mm -hmm. been doing a lot of the promotions for us can you tell us a little bit about some of these speakers just reading their bios hearing some of their testimony, some of the interviews, just give us a little peek about what you think. Actually, I'm kind of in awe. Everybody is the same, but different. Um, everybody has their own unique story. They have amazing little things that they've learned through their journeys, which just, it, it, all of them speak to me. I haven't read one bio from one person that has not spoken to me in some way, shape or form. And I know that it's going to happen to anybody that comes and sits and listens, um, sitting down, doing the marketing and the communications and having interactions from people to actually see what the videos have already inspired in people is amazing. So I can't wait to see what the event does and the crowd that it draws and find out what kind of feedback we get from it. I think it'll be a lot of fun, especially since it's international. Oh, so yes. I think, I think yeah. that 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 interaction will be and impact will be much greater. Absolutely, and speaking of international, we have Simone Rowe, who is going to be teaching a class. Tell us what was your biggest challenge in life and what you're gonna be teaching in this class. Hello again, how are you guys doing? Great. <laughs> um, I have so many challenges. I don't even know which one to choose. <laughs> <laughs> but um i believe one of my top challenge has been uh, um fighting depression because i feel like i've gone through so much things in my life that has put me in that place and it was very difficult when i'm when i'm listening to corey talking about is um is past with drugs and stuff. I felt like depression was kind of like that for me. Do you get what I mean? Like I was Absolutely. trying to escape it, but it was it it, it 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 was just always like a part of my life, and I had to find a way to escape. I have to find a way to overcome because I know that if I didn't, then I wouldn't be here right now. Right, so I, I feel like depression is something that is very broad and it's very, it's extremely serious. And I don't think a lot of people are aware of how impactful it is. And a lot of people are affected by it, but a lot of people like not, not, not necessarily that they don't know um, that they're going through it, but they're afraid to speak about it. Do you get what I mean? So I want to be like a person who can bring awareness to it and let people know that it's okay to say that you are. Because one thing I learned, even as Corey's talking, when you go to um, the meeting, right? One of the things that they would tell you is, um, the first step is what? What is the first step? You're muted, Corey. You're mute. Well, I took it off, but to admit that you have a problem. Exactly, right? You have to admit that there is something not right. You can't be crying all the time. It's okay to cry, but you can't be crying all the time. You can't be isolated from your friends our, our family and you know trying to go through life by yourself 
like all the time. Like you know that it's affecting you. And yeah, there's times when you just want your alone time, but we know the difference between having some space to yourself and dealing with something that is trying to destroy you, right? Right. You don't want to eat, you don't want to sleep, all these things. So I feel like with my class, I want to title it um, um, How to Be Unstoppable, but I'm going to use like depression and other elements to as a key component because that is one of the things that holds us back in life, the, 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 the depression are our mindset. And yes. our mindset is what leads to depression. I don't know if a lot of people are um, understanding what I'm saying here, right? But the way we think, it either put us down or it lifts us up, right? It either make us go further or it holds us back, right? So I'm, I'm, I want to I wanna target the minds of individuals. And if there is someone in that audience that is facing depression, like, you know, or any struggle whatsoever that they're going through, I want to use this, um, the, this platform, my platform, to like bring awareness to how you can rise above what you are facing. Because we can if we believe and if we choose to, because I, I, I came out of depression and that is something that like, I never thought was possible, but then I realized that it was. Absolutely. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does. That was very good advice. And I'm sure whoever watches your, your talk, your class will benefit because not only has she struggled with depression, she's been depressed, she's come out of it, and she's going to show you how you can do it too. Not just depression, but how you can come out of a situation that you're in through your mindset. Corey, I'm going to come back to you because you have really remarkably changed your life. And that, I mean, the name of our website is Come Change Your Life. Not only have you changed your life, you're trying to help others do that. Tell us about the youth that you work with and what you do with them. I'm in Topeka, Kansas, and I work with at-rich youth from the ages of 8 to 17, and then, and then some adults from 18 to 24 that's either aging out of foster care or has been sentenced to a youth juvenile prison. Um, and I work with them, and I teach them character development. I teach character development, personal development. And just like Simone was saying, what I try to target is the mindset. Because if you believe whatever you believe, that you can achieve it. And, and it takes me back to the scripture when God says, let us make man after our image and after our likeness. And if he says after our image, that means he, that's like image would be like a picture of himself looking like me, look like you. And then the, the, the likeness is his attributes, love, beauty, wisdom, justice, faith, foundation, power, strength, all those things. And he was a creator and he created the heavens and the earth. So if he told, said that, let us make man in his image and after his likeness. If he's a creator, then I can create too. And I have to make sure that whatever I speak into exists, whatever I speak and whatever my mind tells me, then that means that I can achieve that. But like, if it's negative, that's what I'm going to receive. If I keep pondering and thinking on negative, negative is what I'm going to get because whatever the mind thinks, the body follows. It's not the opposite way. It's not what the body does, then the mind follows. No, whatever you tell that, whatever that thing is coming into your mind, if you think about it long enough, then that's what's going to happen. Your body's going to automatically follow that. So you are what you eat. If you ever heard that expression, you are what you eat, you are what you think. So I had to really change my way of thinking. I had to allow, I had to pour out everything that I knew about whatever it is that I thought I knew, my beliefs, how I thought it should be. Like I thought I knew everything. So I had to allow people who's already made it, I had to allow them to pour into me. And the only way that they was gonna do that is I had to pour out my cup of my thoughts and my opinions on how I thought it was. And then I had to let, allow them to, and I had to be able to listen and allow them to pour into me and I'll be able to receive it because now my cup is empty. So, and it was just personal development that I had to go through. And I had to set a foundation that I, before I did anything, I had to go back to God. I had to go back to God and I had to repent. And I, that means repent means I had to turn 
from the things that I was doing. And I had to say, God, hey, take the taste out of my mouth. God, take those friends. If you, whoever's not supposed to be around me, Lord, just take them. Uh, you know, don't have me go around them. You know, and, and just things like that. So I had to start my foundation. I had to build my foundation back on the Messiah. And that's where it all started. And then he started putting people in my way that helped me grow. And those were the tools that I had to use to, uh, for my personal development. That's wonderful with my advice, mindset. Corey. Wonderful advice. And you're, and you're right. It is, it is 100% mindset. And it's the way we think that gets us into trouble. It's also the way that we think that can get us out of trouble. And how we apply that to our lives and our actions and our thoughts and our family and our jobs and everything you do, your mindset shows up. In fact, it kind of goes there before you because your mind's already made up before you get there as to how you're going to act and how you're going to behave. So with that being said, Jessica, are you still there? I don't know if she's still there. She's driving. Um, I am. I mean, okay. yeah, I don't know if you can hear me very well. Yep. But I, am. I can hear you. So talk to us, tell us one thing that you would recommend how to change your mindset. Honestly, I believe it's gratitude. I mm -hmm. really do. Um, so every day I, I read a book called The Magic. It's also by the same person who wrote oh, She's cutting out. She must be in a dead zone. And I feel like that was one of the turning points for me. I became more grateful. When I was more grateful, the mindset is everything. So gratitude is your attitude. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Being grateful for those hard conversations, relationships, the hard things we have to do. I'm, I'm we're, we're losing you, Jessica. You're cutting in and out. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're losing Jessica. She's going to come in and out. I tried to mute her. So with, uh, with that being said, with your mindset, and she's talking about gratitude there, how do you get from a poor mindset to a mindset of gratitude? I like a conversation with that. So yeah, I would say gratitude. is Okay, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you cut out there for a little bit. So we, we lost the end of that. Jessica is an author. She wrote a book and uh, that'll be up, you know, when we, when we do the event, we'll, we'll market that for her as well too. So what is your mindset right now? What are you going through in life that you need to change? Because, you know, we are all striving to be better or we want to be, or we should be anyways, but every day is a challenge. And no matter how much you have changed, you still need to change. It is an ongoing thing. It is never reached. You have never and will never reach your full potential. Every day you can learn to do better. You can get educated. You can have a better attitude. Like Jessica said, you can have gratitude. Just like Simone said, it is a matter of mindset. Mind over matter. You've heard that saying. Maude, she had a little something happen to her. Big something. She lost a child. And it's been many years. She doesn't like to talk about it. But tell us what you went through with your mindset. I bet you had a lot of depression. I bet you had a lot of just emotional heartache. I just can't imagine the things that you went through. That is horrific. What was your mindset and how long did it take you to heal from that? Um, it's been 15 years. She passed away when she was seven. Um, she would be 22 now. Um, uh, and it's an ongoing thing. It's an everyday thing. I mean, I get up every morning and I have to consciously make the choice to make today better than yesterday, to get out of bed, just in general, just get out of bed. Um, mm -hmm. Most days it's, you know, okay, well, what can I do? But I learned through her treatment that I had to take things five minutes at a time. If I can't handle the whole day, if I look at it five minutes at a time, I can change these five minutes. If I change these five minutes, then the next five minutes will be better. Well, if those next five minutes are not great, then I haven't lost the whole day. I've just lost five minutes. So that was, how I, that was how I started living my life. You know, looking at how I could change myself instead of changing a huge amount of things, I would change those five minutes, be grateful for what I had in those five minutes, be grateful that 
I made it through those five minutes, you know, and if I can make it those five minutes, then I can make it through to the end of the day. And when my daughter was sick, I actually told her that at the end of the day, our thing was that she had a rough day, something went wrong or whatever, her treatment didn't go as planned, um, that by the end of the day, if she told the son what the problems were, what the, what the issues for the day were, that the son would take those issues and make them gone as it, as it broached the horizon. So as it, as it touched down in the ocean, it took away her problems and she, that helped her to make it through the day. Now it's something that helps me. You know, wow. it's something 15 that years I, later, it's still something that's helping you. Yes. yes. You know, I'm so sorry that you went through that. And I know your experience through that will help a lot of people, help them emotionally, help them uh, even physically, because when you're down and out, when your emotions are going like that, it affects your physical being as well. And your tragedy can help others through that. And um, she's, she might speak. We don't know if she is yet or not. I'm trying to push her to because, you know, there's a lot of loss out there and her story needs to be told because she's an overcomer. She's still here. She's still fighting. She didn't let the emotions take her over. It's like she said, five minutes at a time, just like that big ladder that we're trying to climb that big ladder of success. We're always trying to reach for those big old steps, man, take the little ones, take the little ones, small steps at a time to get to where you're going to go. Sometimes those little steps will get you there faster than the big steps. Simone, tell us where you're from. Where I was born or where do I live now? <laughs> Just a little bit about your history, because this is international. We've got a guy that spoke last night. He's from Australia. We have lots of Americans. We have a king from Ghana that's going to be on the show. Tell us where you're from and where you live now and, and just a little bit about your history. Okay, so I was born and raised in Jamaica. So um, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I'm now resigning in um, Toronto, Canada. I came here when I was 15 years old, right? So yeah, I've been here for quite a bit of time. I'm still not used to winter yet, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> so you've made some adaptations yeah. from the island life to Northern life. <laughs> Pardon? I said, you've made some adaptations from island life to Northern life. Yes, it, it was a big change, a huge, a huge change because I was so used to like the warm weather. I mean, like it gets cold in Jamaica, but not like freezing cold like Canada, right? right? So it was a big change, but I'm thankful to be here. Good, good. Well, guys, this is just a little preview of what's going to happen at the event. ComeChangeYourLife.com. Friday night is free. Go register. No obligation. Get on. Watch us. If you like what you see, then pay your $59 because that ticket price is going to change. So get it now before it does. But if you, if you really want to see change in your life, go ahead and get that price. Don't wait till Friday. Get it for this price. It is an investment that is well worth your state of mind, your peace. The tools and the education and the experience that these people are bringing to the table are going to change your life. One weekend, change. Do you want to change? You know, I tell people, if you're happy where you are, if you don't need to change, then don't come. But I'm telling you, you all need to change. There is a part of you in your life that needs to change. Corey did it. Simone did it. Ma did it. Jessica did it. Jessica, you had cut out a little bit, so we, we lost some of that. But uh, her mindset, you know, and her compassion for what she's doing, she loves people. And when you love others, you want to help them. And that's what all of these people want to do. They have love in their heart. They want to help. So I'm going to go around the room again and let everybody just say a word in closing to the audience that you would like them to hear from you that might talk about what you're going to say at the event or something a little bit special. So, um, Jessica, we're going to start with you. Perfect. Well, thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, so I would say, you know, it's really about action. Um, so when you have gratitude, but then also there's action, like you can have all the gratitude in the world, but if you're not taking steps to living your best life, becoming the best you, it's not going to matter. Right. So 
I think, um, you know, especially with your event, this event that we're doing together, you know, taking a step to buy your ticket, like that's one step to becoming the best you, right? If you don't take those steps, it's never going to, you're not going to, you know, so like you said, just take one step at a time. So that's just one step. So one is one specific action you can take towards your best self, your best you. And that's buying a ticket for the event because you're going to have a lot of value from that. You know, it's like that shortcut, right? Sometimes we want to be from A to Z and we want to be at Z. And you can learn from all of us. We can learn from you and we can, you know, help each other here. So that's what I like doing is helping people, helping them transform. Um, so I'm excited for this event and everything. Awesome. Simone, give us your last words of wisdom. So I, I would say that from each and every one of us, we are all unique. We have unique things that we're going to bring to the table. And I believe that every single person that tune in, they will be able to get something from it, right? Something very significant. So on my part, I'm going to be basically targeting the mindsets of individual because I believe that if our minds are in the right place, then our life can also change. As what Corey said, if we can target the mindset of individuals, then we can help them to become the best, be, becoming the best them, right? Because we are working on ourselves as we speak, but we know that through what we have gone through and where we're where we at right now, we know that we are on our way to becoming the best us. And we want to help others to do the same thing, right? And as we join together and bring forth this event, um, every single person that comes in, you guys are gonna take something away from it. So don't just come by yourself, but invite somebody else, somebody that you know that will benefit from this because. In this time period right now, we know that a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And sometimes all they need is a little encouragement. All they need is a little bit of information that's gonna you know, help them to, to break loose from a caterpillar to a butterfly. And that's what we want from people. We want people to be able to get out of what they're going through and becoming the best that they can be. And this event will definitely help people to do that. So. Make sure you guys come through and just enjoy it because I know every single penny that you spend towards this, it's going to be worth it. It's a small investment for what you're getting. It really is. It really yeah. is. Yes. So Corey, tell us your last words of wisdom. You're muted. <laughs> I should know this by now. A dream is just a dream. And a goal is just a goal until it's put into action. And if you really want change, um, you have to just take that step. And my first event that I went to, I mean, it really, and then some of these great speakers that was at the event, and that really changed my life. And, and I want to just say this, and I want to do this out of the bottom of my heart. Like, if there's someone that wants to really come and, and seriously wants to change their life, and they really want to come to this event, and it might be, I just don't have $59. You get with Brenda, Brenda, then you get with me, and I will pay for a person to come to this event that actually really wants to come to this event. Because I believe this Absolutely. event would definitely start to be the ch start to changing your life. Very, very good words of wisdom there. Very good words of wisdom. Yes. If you really can afford the $59, contact us. We'll see what we can do. Maude, you are up. Tell us exactly what you think this event is going to do for these people. She's been working behind the scenes. She has got to see all the speakers. She's interviewed some of them. She's put their stuff together. Uh, she, she knows probably more about the speakers than the speakers know about the speakers because she's seen everybody where they haven't. They've just seen a few and worked with a few. So give us your last words of wisdom. I think the best words of advice probably come from my daughter. Take the time and remember that you are just a kid. You can change your life the second that you go and decide to play. Remember who you are, find yourself. And the only way you can do that is by listening to all these amazing people and their stories. 
what they have to share with you. And they will help you on your road to becoming the best you. It's the only way, that's my advice. I would say that that is probably the best advice that I could probably give. Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wonderfully said. We lost Kim. She did text me. She hit a dead zone. But Kim is a victim of kidnapping. And she's going to share that story of what she went through and how she overcame that. Now she works with other victims to help them recover. She's got a powerful story. She's here in the Kansas City area, but she travels all over the country helping clients and victims to overcome. That's what she does. Instead of the woe is me and letting that get into her head to stop her, she took that fear and she got out ahead of it and uses exactly what happened to her to help others. And she's going to share that with you too. So thanks for joining us, guys. If you need to talk about something, give me a call. My numbers are everywhere out there on my social media. Go to Brenda Ringwood on Twitter, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. It's all there. Or send me an email at brendaringwood.com. If you want to talk with any of these speakers that are here today, send me that email. I will put you in touch with them. Corey loves to help. Simone loves to help. Jessica loves to help. Maude loves to help. We all want to help you. We feel that it is our purpose and our passion. So thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful evening and take care. We will see you in November at that virtual event, Becoming the Best You Can Be Overcoming Challenges. Change happens now.